Welcome to Fishhead Gaming's tutorial on King Leonidas and the Hoppalites. Today we'll be teaching you uh, how to use combination attacks via shield bashing, war cry, and also hold the line. Very three very very uh, unique abilities designed for Leonidas and very strong for him. Um, they're very, they're, they're, a lot of people say they're very overpowered. They're not because I've I've defeated them using these abilities as Rome. I think it's a video of me as Germanicus so where I do the Peter King Leonidas. Return with these shields um, or upon them. But apart from that, it, they're a pretty good unit. So we'll just skip this bit here uh, and see you in a second. Welcome back, guys. Um, right. So you didn't miss much. You just missed literally uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds, well, 43 seconds of me waiting. Um, so, yeah, basically, we're going to go in headstrong, hopefully. Play a bit defensive. Uh, don't want to push too far and see how the uh, the battle goes um, I should have skipped this bit as well realistically but it gives me a little bit of time to talk um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy and subscribe as well so don't forget give us a thumbs up if you like it um, I do apologize if my voice irritates anybody but <laughs> it is mine and I can't help this um, right so as you can see We've got a few on there. Let's hopefully we can defeat a few of these people. Uh, they've got quite a few uh, King Leonidas playing and Barbarians playing on the other team. On our team, we've got a lot of uh, Sinan. So anyway, let's start off on, on square one. Oh, I'm just seeing we've got tier eights and... Oh, that's not good. And a tier nine at the top there. So, yeah, tier eight on the bottom with the archers. It's going to be very powerful. And then the tier nine at the top. That is not going to be a good start for me because if they've we've got tier nines and eights, that means they're going to have nines and eights as well. Let's hope that we can uh, defeat them in uh, in battle, and hopefully uh, they won't defeat us. Right. So let's see, hopefully our tier 9s are going to be better than their tier 9s. And our tier 8s are going to be better than their tier 8s. And hopefully they don't have too many. We've also got tier 2s at the top. It's not a good start for us at all. Um, it's a little bit mixed up. Or kill all enemy forces. Right, so we're going to stay behind uh, and, and run with our highest tier. Uh, it's a little bit tactically sound. Simple reason being is... It's tactically sound for me to run along with the uh, with the uh, with the highest tier. Uh, it means then I'm, I'm a little bit protected and I can help him out the as best as I can. He can initiate the battles, whereas I come up behind and then hopefully maybe shield bash and keep his morale high. That is the plan. So let's see, guys. Don't forget. I'm just going to mention this now. The flag has been raised. Um, don't forget. Fighting up a hill is not a good situation to be in. You will end up losing eventually. Um, you'll mo you, if you're a better commander than the other, you can win, but you'll have heavier losses than you would do fighting downhill. Uh, right. So you can see, I'm pulling around to the right flank. He's going left. He's seeing what I'm doing by the looks of things. Alright, so he's got a tier 3. It's not about a tier 3. Ah, there's tier 9s to the left. So he's going to be battling them. Oh, we've tried to help him. OTL clicked on. And oh, we've got enemies coming in. So we're going to have to defend these guys. Ah, the same tier as us. So it's going to be even Steven battles. Tier 3 cows staying away from us. And you see, I've put hold the line on all of my guys at the same time. It's going to take a little bit longer to get my units there. I shouldn't have really done that. Um, well, I should have done with the one unit, but it was just in case he could have switched to any. It was more of a uh, what happens if he goes for me scenario. So, as you can see, I've gone for the flank on both sides of the two units there. And now, one at a time, I'm using shield back. So, as you can, look, he's got up, and now I'm going to shield bash again. We've got a routing unit, that's a good sign for us. Now, as you can see, I'm now surrounding him. So I'm going to grope all of my players and go up the back side of him. Oh, we've got some coming at the background, look. So we're going to keep the camera focused on this battle and behind us. 
Um, we're going to have to get ready in a minute because we're going to have to send all our units forwards in a line to keep um, hold the line option open. Otherwise, we're going to get surrounded and our morale is going to drop quick. So we've got to do it now. Push out. We grab him. And the, um, our second unit goes to there. The third unit is on the other one. So there we go. So we've got all three units facing the same way. It's not ideal, but I have to be... Oh, be very protected. At the back there, tier 10. That's right, tier 10 archers. Not a nice place to be in. We are going to get absolutely hammered here. We're losing men left, right and centre. So it's not a great start to the video. But it shows the example. Not everybody is going to be perfect. Unfortunately, it doesn't help that we were playing against tier 10. Right. So as you can see, we are losing men left, right and centre here. We've got one more routing. Um... We have kept our morale up high by using Warcry, but now the commander is dead. We lose the ability of Warcry. It's funny enough, not shield back. It's kind of a bit weird. Because um, it is a commander ability. So you think you'd lose all your abilities, but you don't. You lose the one. I think it's the same with the other commanders as well. You only lose the first main, or the main ability um, of your uh, own thing. Uh, I think Germanicus loses Vengeance. But can carry on using the rest of his ability. So as you can see, boom, there you go. So we're out there. It's, it's a shame, really. It was a quick battle for us. Um, it's just a shame that the tiers were a bit unmatched. I'm just putting them on the bottom there in the chat, as you can see. Uh, it's very frustrating that that's happened. But it's just one of those things, guys, we uh, will make up but have to make do with, unfortunately. So let's watch the game. Thank you for Andy for coming in and, and trying to rescue me. It was, uh, unfortunately, he, he tried to get there as quick as possible, but he didn't make it in time. Hopefully, Andy, if you give us a watch on uh, on YouTube, give us a thumbs up and the hell do you do? Oh, poor Andy, he's going to get absolutely annihilated here. Yeah, he's gone. Right, okay. So we're going to uh, have a look at another battle, maybe. Uh, possibly have a look around the map, see what's going on. Unfortunately, we're not doing very well there either. Our tier rates are running from tier sixes. Um, it, it's just too much of the archers. Look how fast they're firing. Um, they are. It, it's you won't last. I mean, look at how much units they're losing from archers. <laughs> it's just too much. Um, you just can't, once archers are in a nice high ground like that, you just, there's nothing you can do. Um, I suspect that Creative Arts will end up changing that uh, and putting ammo on them or limiting maybe uh, how many archers you can choose. So you can choose like one set maybe or something like that. You can choose one range. Uh, I think that would be a perfect idea and hopefully they'll implement the two ideas put together, you know. Um, but until then, this is still in beta, so they're still working on things. Maybe unlimited ammo and crazy fire is part of their game at the minute, just to see how it all works mechanically. Yeah, as you can see, guys, I don't think our team is going to win this. We are actually... Are we outnumbered? I think we are, aren't we? Yeah, we are outnumbered. We've got 936, 35 for three. People, they've got over a thousand. Oh, they've just gone under. So, yeah, it's not going to be the best of start for a video. But, however, you got to see me using the abilities correctly. Um, I could have done hold the line at the beginning, not so quick. But it was more of a just in case if he charges that other unit that he sees that doesn't fill up, um, hold the line. So if he comes in with a charge attack, I'm kind of holding the line, kind of reflects it back to them as such. It stops the the uh, the charge as as damaging as it can be so as you can see up here in the corner they're just sitting there a the minute uh, and i think they're just going to pray that nothing's happening uh public enemies down there's no way he's coming back from that he's standing the line oh no he's trying to run he's trying to run he's gonna run is he gonna make it yeah he's made it oh no they're getting pincered pokemen are coming pokemen are coming I think they've actually dropped the shields as well by the looks of things, so he's going to get caught. I mean, look at the speed of those. Wow. Um, <laughs> no. So, yeah, 
doesn't look like Deluxe is going to go any further. It looks like he's going to be out of the game. Uh, oh no, they've still got over a thousand men, haven't they? It's just us. We've, we've literally got almost half. Oh dear. So as you can see, the Pokemen versus Pokemen here with Archers firing down. As long as he doesn't hit his own team, and he is hitting his own team. Is he hitting his own team? He is. Yep, he's hitting them from behind and he's knocking them out from the back of his head. Not much he could do. Uh -huh. Go on. Oh. Look how many units he's lost just for them, our own team shooting them. Uh, <laughs> it's horrendous. Good art uh, artillery strike there. I mean, archers there are hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. I don't think this is going to work out very well. Oh! Did you see that splitting formation? That's another thing you've got to watch out for with the uh, artillery ballistas. That will mess you up on tier 6. Uh, not so bad tier 2. Tier 2 you lose a few units, but that's horrendous. So as you can see guys, at the moment, team are holding off as best they can, but it looks like we've lost. It's been a good game. Uh, unfortunately, it was a bit mixed on the tiers. But, hey oh, it, it happens. We're not, none of us are the best. So yeah, that, that's the, the first battle done, guys. Let's check the scores on the doors. Yeah, we didn't do too bad, considering we died quite early. So that's a good start to the, uh, to the match. So... As you can see, always keep your, your team upgraded. I don't have the financial ability right now to keep mine upgraded, unfortunately. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get the money on the next match and be able to get the spears done. So let's click play and let's give it a go. It does not so matter I'm how skip many. it again, uh, back where? to 10 seconds, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back again. Do apologise. Don't want you guys waiting and watching the uh, the stream uh, whilst it's counting down the minutes. Uh, so at the minute, we well, again. I don't recognise anybody from the last game. So unfortunately, uh, oh wait, there, no, there's ra radio at the bottom on the right hand side. He was in the last team. Uh, I think he was the same. Uh, tier ability as me and again we've been put with oh my lord eights nines eights tens and nines oh again guys it's not going to be the greatest video ever but let's see what we can do against nines and tens at least and um hopefully we can use the abilities correctly again this is a very open map so we're going to get a little smashed here and there unfortunately um Hopefully everyone has fun playing against the this team's here. I think I'm the lowest tier here, which is unfortunate. Oh no, yep. I'm joint with somebody else, so that's not too bad. I mean he's got one tier five. I oh, know there's two of us. He's seat eleven. Uh so yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be uh bad. CA needs to uh get this tier in right, but this is the whole point about bases. It gets us in there. Capture the enemy base. Or kill you know, gets us to, to learn and, and gives them chance to make mistakes, you know. So let's have a look around the map. So we've got a nice, it's a very nice open map. We've got to be very careful now. We've got to see where everyone is. So I'm just showing you here on the map just like this. Um, I don't really like doing it like this. I like to normally press the, the tab button, guys. So if you've got um, the standard settings, press tab. And you can see down on uh, your map, which is a lot better. I don't like doing it on the videos because it can look a little bit weird. Um, but I might do it on my Scipio one that's uh, going to be done later on for you guys. That was done today um, on my video recordings. 
I mean, th this video uh, is about Leonidas. Next one will be about Scipio. Right, so as you can see, I'm just staying here on the bit of the hill. I can see just out the woods. And I'm hoping to charge somebody as they come up the hill. And I'm going up the hill as well. So we get there on the top. Right. So it looks like there's nobody here at the minute. Which is not too bad for us. But we're going to make a, a little bit of a move in a second. The enemy has drawn first blood. Push back. Just for the simple fact is, I don't feel like we're going to be fighting here at all. I think they, they've all gone flank, so right flank and left flank. And I'm the only one sat in the middle. Um, put my finger up my nose. So let's get a move on out of that. Let's have a look around, see where we can go. Um, a little bit of left flank there. Getting absolutely... Uh, oh no, there we go. They got back up, so that's fine. I thought they were going to get hammered. Oh, we've got support in the middle, so that's a good sign. So we could move out possibly and uh yeah let's go down to the left i think oh should go right i don't know no we'll go left we'll go left go left go left go 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 oh right so we've got to watch out for them pipes just there can you see them spit uh, spikes that's a tier nine so we're gonna have to micromanage these around we're coming artillery we're coming we just Unfortunately, someone's put spikes there, which has made it a lot more difficult for me. Um, as you can see, we're going to have to manage this one at a time. So we skip past that. That's a good sign. Now we've trapped them in. He's going to run now. We are spears. Uh, you see him not to. No, he didn't run. So we're going to hold the line. Now we don't normally waste shield bash on horses. I don't feel like it does enough damage or, or knockdown as much. So if you knock down a horse, what's going to happen? They're dead, basically. The horses don't get back up on again. Um, but we're going to give it a go anyway, just to, just to show you guys. They're already brutal if you leaving anyway. So there we go. So we've done that one. Protected the artillery as best as we could. Oh no! My units that were following out there, they've just gone into the spikes. Oh, the silly buggers. Oh well, there's not much we can do about that. Unfortunately, there were the stragglers that were chasing on. Um, never mind, it happened. So there we go. As you can see, we never ever do mass um, shield back. Oh, and they destroyed the, uh, one of the artillery pieces. It's a shame. So look, I did stay in the middle. Um, hopefully I saved some of his units. I don't see any of that at the minute. Uh, keeping an eye out now. And just seeing where everybody is. Right, so we're going to have to go left flank in a minute. They, they, they need help badly. There's nobody there. Um, wow, I say left flank and everyone's gone right. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't think they know left and right, so maybe they've got the camera angle uh, a little bit different to what I've got mine. Um, but normally, if it's left flank, it's the way you're facing uh, from the start, so it's our left from the base. So if someone says left flank, wherever your camera facing, look at where your base is, look at to the, to the base left, not where your camera's facing. So, anyway. We are going to push towards this left flank just because uh, we need to hold off. We're gonna, it's going to be suicide. It is going to be a suicide, but we're going to have no choice. We have to stop them pushing as much as possible. Um, this is not going to be a great battle for me here. Um, but hopefully this will be a great prime example to show you guys. Um, this here now, I reckon, will be the best part of how using your war cry is going to count. You shield bash and hold the line. Them three now are going to be absolutely immaculate. It's just pure melee there. We're going to go in there and we're going to see what we can do and hopefully hold them as long as possible for our units to get back or maybe help me. Oh, there you go. I saw Vendi over there. So they're going to move on. We need to hold this back. Oh, to the right of me and in front of me. Oh, 
I'm going to go for, go for the downhill bit. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh. So we're in a lot of trouble. We are now surrounded. It was by chance they've surrounded us, which is a shame because we tried to fight the ones going uh, to come up the hill. I was hoping they'd all go on the road. It would have lasted a bit longer, I think, but I've got a feeling this is not going to last as long as I want it to now. So we're going to have to drag a unit back to stop this charge from coming in. We've got to hold the line on. There's a shield bash. Boom. One down. There's a shield bash again. We're going to have to use it a little bit more. I've only used one shield, uh, two shield bash. So where's the third one gone? I don't know. Um, right, so morale's dropping. Oh, and it's a commander down. Oh, this is definitely a mass suicide here, guys. Not much I could have done. Um, but like I said, oh, fearsome presence. Very dangerous ability to have. Oh, we've got units recovered. Quick shield bash. Always get them shield bashes out. It can boost up your morale quickly if you knock them on the floor. Units recovered again. Quick bash. We're getting artillery all over us. It's not looking great. We're going down. We're going down with the ship, Captain. We're going down. It looks like, oh, we're getting smashed by artillery. So are they. They have no choice. It is a loss for me here. I, there's nothing I could do. Oh, and I could have used the ability just then and let me. That is such a shame. Uh, another knockdown will give me some more points and hopefully a couple of kills on them. Um, because the more we kill here, the better. But look at that. At least now we've given our team some time. Oh, there isn't much team pushing on the uh, the attack in front neither. Hopefully they kill Zola. <laughs> saying, oh, hi, I've just put, uh, kill Zola. <laughs> He's left us to fight with this other guy at least now, which raised on around a little bit, but it's not going to be enough, guys. That is the end of my team. We held off as best as we could. We stopped them. Hopefully all of our team got back. I doubt that they have, but it, it's worth the shot to try and stop as much as we could there. It, like I put them, a very good tactical ability. Um, the ability there alone was absolutely fantastic. They did the abilities uh, correctly on time as well as I did. Um, but the tactical situation, coming around the flanks like that, excellent. There's not much I could have done. What a shame. <laughs> and there's Zola. Fish, sorry. Bless him. It's not a problem. It happens. You know, this this is part of the game. Unfortunately, the team I'm in, you know, we, we were outnumbered on ranks mainly. Um, I mean, tier 10s and 9s and all that. Yeah, it's, it is a bit of a nightmare. I mean, oof, it was a good battle, though. I can't deny it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. And there's Zola. He's going straight in. Oh, that's not Zola. I thought it was. That's McKees or whatever his name is. McKeezy. Uh, he's going in. Oh, and he split his unit. Oh, what's he doing? He didn't know what to do. So he's gone for the back behind unit. Gone for them first. Hopefully gone for the kill. Look at those beautiful shields there for the Rome. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, he's trying his best. Oh, and here comes the other unit coming in, charging. Oh, flish, flish, flish. Swish, swish, swish. Not looking great. Oh, I don't know. He might be able to hold the barbarians off. I'm not barbarians, are they? No. They're Romans as well. Oh, they're tier 8 Romans. Nah. Go on, you can do it. Yes. He's doing it. Oh no, look at that, that. Oh, The artillery absolutely missed. A lot of people use manual targeting. I don't prefer that as much. I'll only use manual targeting if I can't see them. Oh lord. Oh. He's getting beaten here. Couple of stabs. We're going down. We need to capture that base back. At least I held back as best I could to get our team back in there. They're just not many of them came back, unfortunately. 
Um, it's a shame, but it happens. Fingers first next time. Um, on our next video, we get even tears on Scipio, and hopefully, we can show you how to use him. Alright, okay, guys, so hopefully, you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, not much to go by, but it was just basically showing you when to use abilities and how to use them correctly. It's not about winning. Um, it was more, like I said, just the ability usage. And I really hope you enjoyed the show. Hopefully, guys, give us a subscribe. Guys on the forums, hello. Hopefully, you enjoyed this as well. And thank you, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take it easy. Have a good day. And whatever you're doing, enjoy the wars. Goodbye.